This is Blue Coat BBC News reporters taking you on the journey to the centre of the staff room where we are going to interview teachers to see how they got where they are today. What ambitions did you have when you were younger? Um, oh, I just knew that I wanted to do something that I really enjoyed. Um, I, at one point I wanted to be a dancer and so I pursued that throughout my secondary school doing school shows and things. Um, and then once I went to university it kind of... Uh, I continued, but not to a professional level. I wanted to be an Olympic equestrian horse, horse rider or a vet. Okay. Did you have any intention to be a teacher as a young adult? Actually, when I was doing my A-levels and I started doing theatre studies, I thought I really would love to be a drama teacher if, if acting didn't work out. Um, no, not at all. I think that it's something that you probably find yourself getting involved in. Um, I got involved in sort of working with young children, but I never imagined working in school. And somehow, sometimes it just happens. So, no, I wouldn't say I was expecting to, but I'm happy that I am. Doing. I always enjoyed when I was a child pretending to be a teacher, playing games and pretending to mark books. But I never thought that I would grow up and be a teacher. Okay. What struggles did you go through as a young adult to achieve your dream job? Um, having to work really, really hard, I, I don't think I understood quite how much work would go into teacher training and how many hours outside of school I would have to put in um, and just the demands um, of, of lesson planning and marking as well, but I think it's all paid off. Where did you go to further, ever, further education after secondary school? I stayed on at my secondary school for sixth form and then after sixth form I went to the Nottingham Trent University. Um, I went to, uh, you mean for my degree? Yeah. yeah. I went to the University of Canterbury in, in yeah, Canterbury, sorry. So what was your favourite subject? I actually liked art, art was my favourite and probably my strongest subject as well. I did a BA honours in drama and theatre studies, so it wasn't just acting, it was all the history stuff as well. Okay. It's all paid off. So, so how was your school life throughout the years? I loved school, I loved going um, in every morning to see my friends, I thought I had great teachers, um, and I just loved the whole getting involved. What inspired you to be a teacher? Um, I think it's looking at kids. I had a mentor when I was at school, so I had somebody that used to meet with me on a weekly basis and we used to look at targets and things like that. Um, and I actually found that that was probably one of the pin pinnacle points of kind of my success, is that you need sometimes, you need some support, someone there to mentor you and push you um, to really can try and encourage you and that's hopefully what I want to try and achieve whilst here. Okay. Um, when I studied, Especially when I was at college, I had some really inspirational teachers. It just made me really interested in learning and I wanted to try and impart that onto other people. If you were to give advice to the students from your past experiences, what would they be? Um, I would say to always ask for help, so never be afraid if you can't do something. There's always someone there that can explain to you how to, how to do it. So yeah, just don't be afraid that you might not always be the best at everything. Thank you. Um, my advice would be to learn from your mistakes and to not make the same ones again, um, but have a positive attitude and a positive outlook and believe that all things are possible. I would say just to really, really try your best at everything because practice really does make per uh, perfect. If you really put your mind to trying and being good at something, you will no matter what. Um, my advice would be to always try your best and don't think that there is nothing that you can't achieve. If you try your best, then you can achieve anything that you would like to do. And revise. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Miss Stark, Miss Turner, Miss Tullerfield and Mr Lewis Gordon. Thank you for watching BBC Blue Coat School Reporters. Special thanks to Amir, Adam and Langself.